Hey, I'm Rob from TC Helicon, and today I'm going to show you how you can use your Voice Live 3 to process instruments other than your guitar. Today we've got the wonderful Behringer Model D, which is a recreation of one of the most classic analog synthesizers of all time, and it doesn't have any inbuilt effects on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to run it out into the digital effects on the Voice Live 3. We're just going to take its output into the guitar input, and we're going to look at how the Voice Live 3 effects sound on it. Let's get into it. So first I'll start by going over the patch I've got set up on the Behringer Model D here. We've got two saw oscillators and one square oscillator going into the low pass filter, which is at about nine o'clock. And then we have the filter contour generator with just a really short decay. So we get this plucky sound. We've got a little bit of glide there and we've got a lot of pitch modulation on the mod wheel here. So it's, it's a nice sound. It sounds great on its own. But if we had a little bit of reverb here on the voice live, it sounds much more natural and ambient. Uh, the reverb setting that I've got right here is the long bright mod. Uh, this is just one of our default settings that you'll find on the guitar section of the voice live three. It's got about 13 seconds of decay time and it sounds great on the synth. Now we're going to add in a little bit of delay. I've just got a ping pong delay set up here. Uh, if you're listening through headphones, then you'll hear the stereo effect. And this makes what is a mono synth and is generally pretty just narrow straight down the center. It makes it sound huge and wide. Sounds awesome. And just that, I mean, you can play around with that tone and it's going to sound awesome for gigging, for recording. Now another feature that the Voice Live 3 has is guitar amp modeling. Now you might not want to use a guitar amp on the synth because guitar amps are designed to color your tone and add a bunch of EQ. But one nice feature that we have is these overdrive pedal options. And these just skip all the amp EQs and the speaker emulations and it just gives you the distortion. So we're going to turn on the dark OD pedal. And so we go from this sound to the distorted sound. You can hear we get a very fat bass. It sounds great on leads too, especially if you add back in the reverb and delay. That sounds great. Moving on, uh, another effect that the Voice Live 3 has is the octaver. Now this takes your guitar tone generally and will basically double it and create a copy of it that's an octave up or an octave down or an interval up. So here I've got it set to just be an octave up and it's at about 30% blend. And on the synth, we go from what sounds like this to a much wider, bigger sound with this. So it takes what's already a very uh, large sounding synth, right? We've got three oscillators here and it doubles that into six. So this is double the synth. It sounds great. Especially once we add the reverb and delay, again, that just makes everything sound better. Another effect on the voice live, which sounds awesome on synths, is the rhythmic section. Now, this is essentially just another modulation effect. Now, your synth probably already has LFOs, which you can use to modulate your volume, your filter, pretty much any parameter. This allows you to just have another LFO modulating say your volume or your panning. So here I've got it set up just to modulate volume and we go from this sound to this sound. Now if we add back in some distortion and back with some reverb and delay. Now this is awesome because the Behringer Model D and a lot of other synths in this form factor don't have arpeggiators in them and you can create sounds that almost sound like an arpeggiator or a sequence just using the rhythmic effects on the Voice Live. So as you can see, the Voice Live 3 is an 
awesome effects unit for synths. You can use this live, you can use this as a studio device. You could use the Voice Live 3 just as an effects processor for your studio and not even touch the vocal processing and still get your money's worth for it because it's just a super powerful digital effects unit. I love it. And if you're interested in experimenting with some different effects for your synthesizers and for your voice, I definitely recommend you check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. If there's any other instruments you want to see run through the Voice Live 3, let us know down below in the comments.